The Creative Cloud gives you all the tools you need to create beautiful content for the modern web. It lets you take advantage of the latest in web technologies and extends your reach by allowing you to make responsive sites and apps for multiple platforms. And how you're able to do this is the exciting part. Whether you like to work visually or prefer more of a code view, you have those options. And with the Creative Cloud, it's easy to share and collaborate with others, which is really where I'd like to start. As you can see, the Creative Cloud allows me to view a PSD file right in the browser. I can share this file with other designers or the client, and they don't have to be a Creative Cloud member to view or comment on it. And notice that this is a, the exact same file that actually exists on my desktop thanks to So once I have feedback, I can jump right in and start making changes. And with Photoshop, you can now extract the CSS from selected layers. So I don't have to write all these lines of CSS. Now, this is a feature that was added to Photoshop for Creative Cloud members last Creative year. Cloud. And that's what the Creative Cloud does, gives you access to features right away, so you're always a step ahead. All I need to do with that CSS is paste it into the code editor of my choice. I happen to be in Dreamweaver here. There's all my CSS. And if you can see the page here, you can see that it's actually using that CSS with those content items that I already had in that HTML page. Now, if you use Illustrator CC, you can also not only extract the CSS from a design, but you can actually export out all the images at the same time. So here I am in Illustrator. Notice here is my nice design. I've selected everything. And then all I need to do is generate CSS. That CSS gets generated, and then I can export that same CSS. So I'll put that, all that content is just going to be exported to this folder. Now if I go into that HTML page, notice how I can point to that CSS file that was just generated. And as I select Live View, you can see how all that CSS is being used. I didn't have to export out any images, create any CSS. It's all done for me. Very powerful. Now, Dreamweaver is your all-in-one web design tool that allows you to build websites and apps. And Dreamweaver CC introduces the new and very powerful CSS Designer panel. This enables you to easily create and modify web standards-based CSS. So for this item, if I want to round the corners, notice how I can visually round any one of those corners, either together or individually. If I wanted to add a drop shadow, you can see I can easily add a drop shadow and even adjust the offset. But you can see I can visually change the CSS all using this CSS Designer panel. A lot of Creative Cloud apps allow you to now sync settings and preferences across computers. And in Dreamweaver's case, you can also sync your site definitions. So you can always have access to the sites that you're working on. This is very powerful. And notice right up here, I can sync my settings to the Creative Cloud. Lastly, Dreamweaver also enables you to create a responsive site using the updated fluid grid layouts. And notice from here, I can easily create a layout for desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. Now, to really bring my web content to life, you can use Edge Animate to add animation and interactivity using web standards like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, notice you have a timeline right down here for easily animating content. But a new feature we've added to Edge Animate are motion paths. So I really have control over an object that m I might want to, say, uh, move in a, in a curved fashion. I have control over my animation. Now, uh, also, if I wanted to add uh, some interactivity, I can use code snippets. And you can easily see I have access to plenty of code snippets on the side here. But what I can also do is write my own JavaScript right in Edge Anime. Then what I can do is I can take this file and I can easily integrate it into my website since it is just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can also go beyond the browser and create mobile apps for multiple platforms using PhoneGap Build. This allows you to make apps using web standards. So here I am in Dreamweaver. 
All I need to do is go to PhoneGap Build Service, and I'll build an app for all of these various platforms. I could do the same thing from Edge Code if I install that extension. Once that's done, I can install them right away using this QR code and a QR code reader on my phone. And also, on build.phonegap.com, there's even more that's possible, such as debugging and an updating feature that's known as hydration. But Dreamweaver is only one way to create responsive content visually, because you also have access to Adobe Edge Reflow Preview. Reflow offers an intuitive user interface and allows you to create a design using CSS. And it's nice that I'm using this design surface, which is actually the WebKit engine. So I have confidence knowing what I create in Edge Reflow is exactly what would be represented in a browser. But I also want to make this design responsive. So what I can do is I can create a responsive layout. So when I scale this content down, it's going to be flexible and responsive. I can go beyond that, and what I can do is I can start to add uh, basically media queries, uh, also known as breakpoints, in my design. So I can have a breakpoint for a tablet and even one for a mobile device. And I can start to change my layout based on those breakpoints, making a very responsive design. When it comes to fonts, we have you covered there as well, because every Creative Cloud member gets access to Edge Web fonts and Typekit fonts. And these type of options are available right in the apps where you'd expect them. Say, for instance, in Reflow, notice how I select over here this font, and I can have quick access to Adobe Edge web fonts. And really, it's just a matter of selecting the ones I want to add and then using them immediately in the design. And this is not only in Edge Reflow, but it's also in Edge Code as well as Dreamweaver. After the design is complete, you can copy the CSS and you can add it to your web project. But when it comes to development, you not only have Dreamweaver, because you can also use Adobe Edge Code. Edge Code is a new app specifically for web developers and those that prefer more of a code view. Edge Code is designed to do one thing, and it does that one thing very well, which is allows you to make and edit CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. The code view is really the only view you need. You don't have to worry about all these various panels and dialog boxes sort of obscuring your code as you develop. The options you need to set are presented to you right when they're useful. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to see the properties of this CSS class, I can use Quick Edit, and there are all those properties ready for me to edit. And even for things like color, if I wanted to modify the color of the CSS property, I can do quick edit to have immediate access to that color. And not only that, Edge Code has access to Edge web fonts as well that can easily be added to this web project. Live development lets you work more efficiently. Enable Live Preview in Edge Code, which updates the Google Chrome browser to show your latest changes as soon as you make them. Just click Live Preview button, and it will launch Google Chrome and display that current page. And as you continue to make changes to the CSS and even save the HTML, you'll see those changes reflected in your Chrome browser. Once you have your site created, you want to test it beyond just your desktop browser. You'd want to see how it works and looks on smartphones and on tablets. And Edge Inspect allows you to do this easily. Just start Edge Inspect. This just logs you in and then in a browser. Make sure it is running. You have that extension in your Chrome browser. And then just make sure it's running on your phone. And what will happen is Edge Inspect will create this live connection between your desktop browser and your mobile device. And you can connect up to five devices. So you can see how your content looks. You can take a screenshot of all of your connected devices. It puts them all in a folder for review. You can send them to your client. But you can go beyond that. You can, you can start to uh, inspect this content as well. So uh, notice how I can select debugging, and I can remotely debug and inspect that code for this iPhone that's connected. You can see all the HTML here. And as I make changes, those changes actually happen on the phone as well. 
As you can see, there's so much stuff available for web designers and developers as part of the Creative Cloud. It really is powerful, and it seems to get more powerful every day. So I encourage you to check out Creative Cloud today. Uh -huh.